Bettendorf's restaurant is very close to where it happened. After it, workers at the restaurant did all they could to help the people who were involved. Now the restaurant could use a little help. WGN's Rick Gogrieve is here with that story. Rick. Kurt, I spoke with a couple of employees over at Middendorf who say that this has been a pretty difficult week for them. They are soon hoping for some of repairs on the bridge as well as more traffic into the restaurant once that repair is complete. It was a regular Monday for Middendorf's employee Kylie Ingram until she began hearing crashes on the I-55 bridge. Once she heard she had an opportunity to assist those involved in the incident, she didn't hesitate. When we saw the school bus of people out front, we, we said, you know, we're going to open the doors, we're going to let them come in, use the restroom, get out of the heat. Um, the sheriff's department brought in waters and pizzas. We served the people because obviously our kitchen was closed. We just had to give them a safe place to wait it out until the roads opened and their loved ones could get here to pick them up because obviously they they had lost their vehicles on the bridge. Since this act, many people have gone online thanking the employees for taking the time to help those in need. We've had several people reach out on Facebook and via phone to us um, just saying they appreciate how much we've done for everybody and that we didn't have to do that. However, the story has been different inside the restaurant. Since the road closures and construction, business has been difficult as there are fewer people passing by to eat. Extremely slow. Um, half of this restaurant is closed today. We're at, what, 30% capacity right now? Yeah, it's very, very slow today. Um, the weekend, our deck will be closed, so a little shout out for the guys that like to go out to the deck for the weekend. It's going to be closed because it's just not enough business. The restaurant will not temporarily close, though, and will make a new plan every day to accommodate the customer's needs. Day to day, day to day, if the business, if business picks up, we'll, we're, we're always going to be here. We just don't know how much is going to be open, but we'll accommodate as much as we can. Now repairs will begin this weekend on the southbound way. Now that will begin on the right lane of the southbound way and the, that traffic will then merge into the left lane near the accident and then it will eventually turn into the reverse where it is the left lane merging into the right and then the construction happening or the repairs happening into the left lane and then that will last about two weeks in total before it is complete. Susie Kurt, back to you. Rick Ogre reporting for us. Thank you, Rick.